What we do in the beginning is we do an issue identification exercise. We also have a round of introductions, but it's not just a round of introductions. It's about asking people, what's the key strategic issue that brought you here that keeps you up at night? So they, they bring that up in the classroom in the very beginning. We also have a kind of an opening exercise where we ask sort of indirect questions about the environment, about industry, about innovation, and we just get a sense of what the group collectively thinks about why firms don't innovate enough, uh, why is it it's hard to sustain advantage, why is our environment moving so fast in relation to where we thought it was moving earlier in our careers, is, is it actually moving fast or is it a perception? And then we put all of that together as the beginning of their experience and it's very much sort of a, a sense-making activity in the beginning. That actually then is uh, given to all the instructors and then as people come in, they kind of work off that. So it becomes really teaching to need and customization. And in the back end, we actually have a closing exercise that's sort of similar. So people can sort of see, well, I came with this question, but now you know I have a new question and I have some answers to this question. I think what we are trying to do in this program is to really focus on tools and frameworks. So we don't use that many cases. We use cases to illustrate some points, but by focusing on the tools and the frameworks, we make it as immediately applicable to the participants, to their own organizations. And so really that's what we're trying to do in this week, to allow them to start already that process of applying these ideas to their own organizations. Because as you know, our biggest fear always is that participants will leave our program and sort of the next Monday they go back to their old jobs and they think about this as this wonderful experience that they had, but that's sort of all that they think about it. And we really want to make it as applicable and as useful for them also in the time after they've left work. When you look at research on implementation, there are lots of contradictory pieces of advice, not because they're wrong, but because implementation is very situational. So what we try to do is to sort of give people a template on how to design a strategy, how to sort of socialize it within the organization, and then how to use the structure, the systems, the attributes of key leaders and teams, how to make all of those things work in conjunction with the strategy that they have come up with. I think the thing we emphasize most is being a leader, you know, being working on your own attributes and recognizing that leadership and strategy are intertwined. They're not two different things. The strategy has to be implemented in light of someone's leadership style. So that's what we try to do in the course of the program. And then the last point is that actually people uh, work a lot with each other and they get a lot of information from each other on what works in their industries. And almost invariably someone says, you know, in that discussion I had on Wednesday night, I really learned something from this person who was in a completely different industry. So that actually is something we encourage and try to create an environment for that to happen. Mm -hmm.